Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel Electrical Technology and Industrial Practice. So today is the fourth episode of Substation Equipment and in this video we will be discussing about the other other four uh, five equipments used in substation okay so let's begin the video okay so our first uh, component is first uh, system is lightning protection system okay it is not an equipment but a protection system to give uh, the substation protect against direct stroke lightning okay so for indirect lightning there is lightning arrester or surge arrester but for direct lightning uh, the lightning protection system has to be used it is generally uh, constructed by lightning mast or shield wire uh, which uh, uh, arrest the uh, lightning surge and it's uh, uh, send the uh, discharge current to the ground okay thus it protects the substation from direct stroke lightning okay it is also known as dlsp direct stroke lightning protection so if you anytime see this term don't get confused remember that that will be lightning protection system okay okay so our next equipment is series reactor or current limiting reactor okay this is basically an inductor connected in series it is used to reduce fault current okay and it is used in strategic location where it is required where the fault current exceeds than the system withstand capacity but it is nowadays not a not a preferred option due to several disadvantages and already many ad, uh, technologically advanced alternative has been uh, available in the market so this is an obsolete technology okay okay so our next equipment is neutral grounding resistor or ngr it is also known as nr or neutral earthing resistor okay so its function is to uh, limit the earth fault current okay and it is used in voltage from 3.3 kV to 11 kV I have already dedicated video on NGR its calculation so you can check that and it is connected between transformer or generator neutral and ground and its rating are these are rated for 1 second 5 second or 10 second okay so for, for the amount of current it will be restricting the earth fault current for that many seconds that means Suppose we need to design an NGR for uh, uh, say to restrict the earth fault current at 400 ampere. So its rating will be 400 ampere for 1 second or 5 second or 10 second. Okay. So let us go to the next topic. Our next uh, equipment is bus duct. I also have the separate video on bus duct. So bus duct is used for connection where high current is involved. Okay. High current is needed to be carried that is between generator and generator transformer or uh, different type of transformer i have mentioned here the lt transformer but it can be used for any uh, type of transformer where high currents are to be transferred that is the current ranging uh, from 1000 ampere or above okay that means where the cabling will be a very tedious job there we use the bus duct uh, bus ducts are of three types. One is isolated phase bus duct, another is segregated phase bus duct, and the last one is non segregated phase bus duct. So, isolated phase bus duct is used for generator. Segregated phase bus duct is used for MB system that is 6.6 kV, 11 kV, uh, and uh, for LT system 415 volt. Non segregated phase bus ducts are used. I have video on the bus duct. You can check that for uh, details. Okay. So, let us see the next uh, equipment. Okay, so our next item is power line carrier communication. Okay, it is a very interesting thing. So what is this? It is that the transmission line is not only used for transferring the power, but it also used for uh, uh, for a communication line. Okay, the power signal and the communication signal both are sent through the transmission line. Basically, the communication signal is converted into low voltage that is low amplitude and high frequency signal and it is fed along with the main power. So at both end that is sending end and receiving end it is again decoded and the communication signal is separated okay so for that there are several uh, filter and electronics arrangement are there uh, so th this is how the power signal and communication signal are uh, sent to through the transmission line uh, and the equipment which are used for carrying out the power line carrier communications are uh, wave trap or line trap. Uh, coupling, coupling capacitor, captive voltage transformer, tuning unit and other electronics equipment okay but it is a old day technology nowadays OPGW is used optical uh, 
ओ पी जी डब्ल्यू ऑप्टिकल पावर ग्राउंड वायर ओके सो हियर थ्रू द शील्ड वायर द फाइबर ऑप्टिक्स केबल्स आर रन ओके सो द कम्युनिकेशन सिग्नल इज सेंड थ्रू द फाइबर ऑप्टिक्स केबल एंड द एक्सटर्नल शील्ड वायर एक्ट एज द लाइटनिंग प्रोटेक्शन इक्विपमेंट प्रोटेक्शन आइटम ओके ओके सो टूडेज वीडियो एंड हियर इफ यू एंजॉयड द वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर कॉमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल and please hit the bell icon to get notification of our latest video thank you very much for watching this video